welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. I love that energy. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Guys, today is Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Everyone's in the spirit. This morning at 7-Eleven, I saw a rat drinking a big gulp with a metal straw. Oh, no, so good. Yeah, a lot of stores celebrated Earth Day. Uh, H&M added a section for sustainable items. Lowe's offered a free garden to go kit, and Subway recycled uh, last week's tuna. Oh, so yeah, I thought that was. I'm kidding around, but protecting the earth is serious. I mean, can you believe that in 1999 we had nearly 50 rainforest cafes, and now we're down to almost 20? <laughs> Think about it. That's right, today was all about the planet, and at the White House, President Biden hosted 40 world leaders for a virtual climate change summit. The tone of the summit was that we're all responsible. But you know Costa Rica was looking at the U.S. and China like, yeah. <laughs> this is all our fault, right? Yeah, we're, we're all to blame, yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> now, of course, with any virtual event, you're going to have some technical glitches, right? But I didn't think it'd be quite this bad. Take a look at what happened. Good morning. Good morning to uh, all our colleagues, all our around, colleagues the around the world, the world leaders for taking part in this summit. summit. I thank you. <laughs> it's now my honor to call on His Excellency the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. <laughs> I now call upon the Prime Minister of the Republic of India, His Excellency Narendra Modi. President Biden, <laughs> colleagues, my fellow citizens, <laughs> The floor is now to the president of the Russian Federation, Mr. Vladimir Putin. Mr. President. <laughs> Looking. Uh, somehow we just flew a helicopter on Mars, but we still can't get a Zoom meeting to work. Uh, next time, every leader will be required to have at least one grandchild present. It's funny that we were watching Putin and he didn't know he was on camera, because usually it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah. Even. That was a good reach. At one point, Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson spoke, and he used a pretty interesting phrase to get his point across. Listen to this. This is not all about uh, some expensive, uh, politically correct uh, green act of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of bunny hugging. Uh, or, 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 or however you want to put it. I'm not even bunny hugging, but you, you, you know what I'm driving at. No. <laughs> we have no idea what you're driving at. At first, people were like, oh, is, is bunny hugging a British version of tree hugging? <laughs> British people were like, no, he's just weird. I've never heard that term. Uh, that's right. Leaders from all over the world met to discuss climate change over Zoom, and some even released joint statements with President Biden. And check these out. Uh, after French President Emmanuel Macron said, if we want to decrease our carbon footprint, we must, Biden jumped in and said, take a page out of my old friend's book. His name was Shoeless Gus. He used to walk across a gravel parking lot just to prove a point. He ran off with a flapper girl from Cheyenne. Now they sell tire swings for a living. I, 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 I don't really see how that's relevant, but let's check out another joint statement. Uh, after German Chancellor Angela Merkel said, we can conserve the amount of available water we have by, Biden said, rounding up all the neighborhood boys and washing ourselves off in the creek behind old man McCafferty's tool shed. <laughs> Just as good as a real shower, and you get to eat as many tadpole eggs as you can fit in your mouth. Wait, what? What? Seems... Like, why do they keep letting him talk? Really? Yeah. Uh, let's check out one more. All right, let's see it. After British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said, fighting climate change will create millions of jobs, such as, Biden said, root beer barbers and professional whistlers. I used to know a pair of twins who could whistle like a teapot. Their parents named them both Ralph to make things easy. One of them got struck by lightning, and after that, anytime he walked past a jukebox, it just started playing. Wow. Ralph and Ralph? I, I don't know. It sounds like joint statements. I don't know, man. Uh, more news from Washington. After the White House press, uh, presented its $2.3 trillion infrastructure plan, Republicans have responded with their own version that's only worth $568 billion. Yeah, Republicans want all these repairs done on the cheap, which is why they're calling the bill Operation Flex Seal. 
Biden has so much on his plate, infrastructure, construction, police reform, military spending. Right now, his to-do list looks like the village people. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty incredible. I saw that Amazon is testing out a new way to pay at Whole Foods. Take a look at this. Paying for groceries with the swipe of your hand. That could be coming soon to Whole Foods stores near you. It allows shoppers to pay for items by placing their palm over the scanning device. Here's how it works. You hover your hand over the reader, then the cashier tells you to stay still, then move it slightly, then move it slightly again, and then you get frustrated and pay with your credit card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I think it's fun. I always wanted to buy plums like I'm a Jedi. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Beep. Yeah, that's pretty good Jedi. Like it's the, it's the move back. That's the move the back is what sells it. Yeah. This is yeah, that's, like, that's just a guy. Yeah, that's a Jedi. Thank you. <laughs> Especially they, the flourish. Are they making a, another uh, Star Wars film? I bet they. Oh, you could. <laughs> I add a little. It. I add a little mustard on that last one. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do it one more time? Yeah, do one more Mr. time, Mr. Lucas. Okay. <laughs> Step to the left. Yeah. Yeah. More? 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 How far? Okay, perfect. Do so I have a good? car? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> An Academy Award? Um. <laughs> oh, it's not my name's on it. Well, this is interesting. Scientists are developing technology that lets them add product placement in classic films. Yeah. We actually got our hands on the first few clips they produced. Now, watch closely because the ads are incredibly subtle. Roll it. It's December 1941 in Casablanca. What time is it in New York? What? My watch stopped. But they're asleep in New York. Say again, please. Houston, we have a Tide Pod. Oh, this isn't good. McCormick said that they've had a difficult time keeping up with demand for Old Bay seasoning during the pandemic. I can't really imagine why, which brings us to a new segment we like to call Tariq's Teachable Moment. Tariq's Teachable Moment. Thanks, Jimmy. I think I can shine a light on this. Well, you see, when black people cook, we enjoy this thing that you might have heard of. It's called flavor. <laughs> flavor? is what happens to a meal when you add more to it than just salt or pepper. I don't know, that sounds spicy. It can be. In black homes, spice racks are like guard dogs, robust, loud, integral parts of the family unit. Meanwhile, your spice rack is more like a lap dog, small, decorative, but ultimately useless. So when the pandemic hit and restaurants closed, black people treated Old Bay like it was toilet paper and bored enough to fill a bunker. Okay, well, well, how much seasoning should I use? A great start would be more than zero. <laughs> Just do what I do. Ignore the recipe and sprinkle it on a little longer than you usually would. Like this. Okay, this, this seems like a lot. It is. That's the point, Jimmy. And look, if you don't understand yet, that's okay. Just give it a minute to marinate. Tariq, teachable man. Tariq Trotter, everybody. Tariq Trotter, I learned a lot. Thank you, Tariq. And finally, a woman in North Carolina was shopping at Target when she found a surprise on the shelf. Watch this. This is not something you typically find on the shelves in Target. A black rat snake slithering through the cans of Bush's baked beans. Ooh. Manager came on the PA system and was like, oh, hell no, in aisle five. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Joining us in studio, one of our uh, absolute favorites. A delight. The guy's a gem. He stars in the Showtime series City on a Hill. Kevin Bacon yeah. is here. Come on. Plus, she's a four-time Olympic gold medal gymnast. Simone Biles is here. Yeah. And we got great music from Rit Momney, everybody. Rit Momney. Rit. Rit Momney. That's right. Uh, and later, we're going to have uh, all-new Tonight Show hashtags as well. Oh. Yeah. And we're going to do something fun with Kevin Bacon. Oh! Something musical, perhaps. Perhaps. More Jedi sticks. A sketch for... 
I retired from the Jedi business. Are you serious? What happened? It's too hard on my arms. <laughs> I don't do, everywhere I went, everyone's like, do the Jedi thing. Like, oh. Just, I'm alone. Became, yeah. I'm just a normal person. Oh, it was like a curse. It was like yeah, a, it was, yeah, I was cursed by my own Jedi uh, techniques, and I couldn't go shopping. I couldn't go anywhere. It was a nightmare. Can you imagine my no, life? I cannot. I can't imagine because I mean, I do can the imagine. Jedi thing. Do it. Do it now. Do, do, do it now. You're with your family. Yeah, my kids are around. And you told me the one time you were about to have emergency surgery, and the doctor made you do it before you had the surgery. Yeah, I got I'm, I'm basically on the you know my Bird deathbed, the whatever it is. Yeah. Deathbed, sure. <laughs> Got tubes all over the place. Yeah. My, my life turned into a complete. No one remembered that I hosted the Tonight Show or anything. They just remembered you from the. Well, it was so good. I can't. I can't blame them. Well, they cut it out of the uh, Blu-ray. <laughs> serious? Yeah. The whole Jedi thing is gone from the Blu-ray. Well, when you get the Blu, uh, it's still. What on about the, the laser? Is it on the laser disc? No, they took it out of the laser disc as well. Oh my god. In the Blu-ray, and I was like. Get me George Lucas on line two. Oh, get me George Lucas on line two. <laughs> then I picked up the phone. Press line two. Right. Hold on. Hello? Uh, hello, Jimmy? Is this George Lucas? Uh, no. This oh. is uh, Gary's assistant. George is busy. The assistant's assistant? Yeah. I'm the fifth assistant. Fifth is George Lucas has five assistants? No, he has 12 assistants. Sorry, I was oh, sick with COVID. I apologize. I, you understand. understand. I don't work there, so on, I, don't I apologize. Uh, can you let George know I'm a little upset? About? I was in the new uh, Star Wars film. Okay. And I was the. Uh... <laughs> That's not why I was upset. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Sorry, a lot of people were complaining about it. No, no, no. I, no I've never, I would never complain about being okay. in it. But it's just, I did a Jedi, I played a Jedi, I did a Jedi move. Oh, the, yeah. The hand move? Loved it. You remember it? Who doesn't? <laughs> Apparently, George didn't like it. He cut it out of no, the... No, 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 no. Please, I don't like your... He tongue. loved it so much, oh. it made the rest of the movie look like garbage. <laughs> he had no choice but to take it out. The genius of that moment... Made the rest of the film look like Garbage. a dog vomited on its own poop. Uh, uh, That's a bad thank image. Thank you so much. I apologize that I put you in a bad mood, but you changed my day, and thank you so much for taking One me more out. One more, just may, if I may. Sure. I know I'm over the phone, but could you do it for me? Oh my God. <laughs> Take care, Thank buddy. you so much. Hey, be well, be well. Nice guy. Really nice guy. Uh, and thanks to George Lucas.